What can you do if your skills and experiences don't quite exactly line up with the organizations, companies, or jobs that you want? How can you leverage super mentors to break into places that don't exactly match up with your experience? Well, I want you to meet Shannon Case. Shannon Case is one of those people that had big dreams, but didn't necessarily line up with her experiences along the way. Shannon had been fascinated with the idea of space and space travel since she was a young girl. And in fact, Elon Musk and his desire to colonize Mars had only accelerated that interest. When she went to college at Carnegie Mellon, Shannon studied sciences and she studied sculpture. She was both an artist and a scientist, and yet she wasn't quite certain of where that would lead her in her career. And so when Shannon was thinking about her big dreams, she wanted to work one day at organizations like NASA, SpaceX, or Blue Origin, and yet would those places have a spot for an aspiring sculptor? Shannon went out and talked to some amazing, smart people, people who worked at NASA, at Blue Origin, who studied what it would be like to live on other planets. And along the way, she developed a passion and an interest in this idea of becoming multiplanetary. Well, it wasn't until she was studying abroad in the United Kingdom that an opportunity came her way, an opportunity to plan and build an art exhibit where she would show people who were patrons of the museum and other students how we as a species could become interplanetary. And it was that experience that unlocked a surprising opportunity for Shannon. And I um, talked to people at the Glasgow Science Center and they were super keen to have me and hmm. I ended up putting on a pop-up exhibition like in the Science Center. Really? Outside the planetarium. <laughs> That's um, amazing. Yeah, so I, I wow. made these like questionnaires for people like which place in the solar system would you most like, like most want to live, I guess. That's where things only got crazier for Shannon. Well, not only did she have this exhibit, but she began to share things publicly about what she was learning online, talking to more people and sharing things with her super mentors. One of them shared her interest and her passion and her skills as a sculptor and someone interested in the sciences with a team who was working on a surprising project for NASA. With that one introduction, Shannon was able to start helping a team who was designing greenhouses that NASA plans to use on Mars. And suddenly, a woman who was a sculptor and not someone with a background that you might think would work at NASA was designing things that might help support our goal to become multiplanetary. All that from an art exhibit and some helpful introductions from some of her super mentors. Remember, if you have interests and things that may not necessarily align with what you've done in school or what you've done in your early jobs, oftentimes projects and ways to demonstrate those to your super mentors can lead to incredible opportunities. It all starts by identifying projects that you can use to tap into those interests, people you can involve, and most importantly, the idea of aiming higher, asking smaller, and doing it again and again until your opportunities unlock. Thank you.